I could care less about Bitcoin. I don't know why I, <laughs> I don't know why I said anything about it. The blockchain is a technology, which is a good technology. We actually use it. It will be used for a lot of different things. God bless the blockchain. Cryptocurrencies and digital currencies, you know, I think, are also fine. You know, JP Moore moves six trillion of dollars around the world every day. We don't do it in cash. It's done digitally. If it can be done digitally with the blockchain, so be it. But it'll still be a dollar cryptocurrency. What I have an issue with is a non-fiat cryptocurrency, dollar, so crypto, uh, sterling, euro, yen, they're all fine. I don't personally understand the value of something that has no actual value. You all can do whatever you want, and I don't care, okay? <laughs> <laughs> all right. That sounds definitive. Bitcoin hit a new high today. It just I, I could care less what Bitcoin trades for, how it trades, why it trades, who trades it. If you're stupid enough to buy it, you'll pay the price for it one day. I've also told people that it can trade at $100,000 before it trades to zero. You know, tulip bulbs tra traded for $75,000 or something like that. The only value of a Bitcoin is what the other guy will pay for it. And I think, honestly, I think there's a good chance that Bitcoin, a lot of the buyers out there are up there jazzing up every day so that maybe you'll buy it too and take them out. And I, I quite mean that, by the way. You know, these, these, these people are very good at manipulating the press these days and getting news out. And so every day, you know, you have CNBC, nonstop Bitcoin. Who cares about Bitcoin? I mean, you know, the, the, the world's economy is so big. We move, JP Morgan alone, these companies, six trillion dollars. We move all this money. And Bitcoin in total is, 50, all these currencies are 50 billion dollars, maybe a billion dollar trades a day. And, and the other thing I've always made of Bitcoin, governments, and this is not a technological statement. Governments are going to crush it one day. Governments like to know where the money is, who has it, and what you're doing with it. And you, in case you haven't noticed, okay? <laughs> and governments like to control their currency, like to control their own in, uh, economy. So China's already put curbs on it. Japan, you know, they say Japan uh, accepted Bitcoin. No, they didn't. What I gathered Japan did was they called it J-Coin, it's a yen cryptocurrency. It's not a, it's not a non-fiat. And there's a big difference. Someone said, people have said legitimately, okay, it's cl close to gold. Not really. Gold is limited uh, uh, and has been around a long time. And it's close to a fiat currency, not really. A fiat currency is where the government says, this is your legal tender. You have to give it and accept it. And there's a central bank. Now, of course, they can misuse it, the central bank, and inflate it. So there is a use case for Bitcoin. If you live in Venezuela, North Korea, or if you're a criminal, <laughs> great, great product. <laughs> I mean that. It's better than cash or deposits in that country, yeah. Cuba. You know. <laughs> but this is the last time I'm ever going to answer a question about Bitcoin because I really don't care. I also pointed out when I, when I made that stupid statement, which got all the thing, I called it fraud. My daughter sent me an email saying, Dad, I own two bitcoins. <laughs> <laughs> My formerly smart daughter. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.